In a time long ago, before our modern world took shape, there was a big boat, Noah's Ark. You've probably heard about it, and the animals, and of course the Great Flood. But there's more to the story. Three women were there too. They were the wives of Noah's sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. The Bible doesn't name them, but ancient stories do. These weren't just any women. They were survivors. They lived incredibly long lives, and they had a big role in what came after the flood. Let's dive into the tales of these three women, Satakwadalpap, Niltomiuk, and Adatonesis. Through the stories and clues left in ancient manuscripts, we'll discover who they were, the families they started, and the impact they had on our world. The untold story of Noah's three daughters-in-law, Shem, Ham, and Japheth's wives. For those unfamiliar with the subject, these are the wives mentioned in the story of Noah's Ark, who were part of the family that survived the flood, as told in the book of Genesis of the Bible. They include Noah's son's wives, Noah's daughters-in-law, and Noah's own wife. Although the Bible does not name these women, it does confirm their existence. In this video, you'll learn everything you need to know about them from the Bible, as well as information from Jubilees, Sibylline Oracles, and other ancient manuscripts. Satakadalpap was the wife of Shem, the father of the Semitic peoples, according to the Book of Jubilees. She was Shem's wife and the Semitic people's mother. She had an incredibly long lifespan, according to the Sibylline Oracle, living for centuries after the flood. According to the Bible, she had many sons and daughters during that time period. Satakadalpap was also a prophetess. According to the Sibylline Oracle, she transmitted prophecies to each generation that arose from her offspring while in Mesopotamia. There are some ancient Christian traditions that state the following about her and her husband, Shem. These traditions stem from the Christian Saint Hippolytus and report the existence of an ancient Targum in Psoriasis that resembles the Book of Jubilees. Although the names of Shem and Ham's wives appear to have changed, Elam, Asher, Arphaxad, Lud, and Aram are among the descendants of Setoketobab and Shem mentioned in the books of Genesis and Chronicles. Furthermore, the Bible mentions the grandchildren of this woman, who was the mother of the Semitic peoples. The grandson mentioned are Uz, Hul, Gether, and Mash, sons of Aram, son of Shem, and Satakodalpap. Shem's wife is regarded as the matriarch of several ancient Semitic peoples. She is regarded as the matriarch of the Elamites, the Elamite peoples, as well as the Chaldean and Akkadian peoples descended from Arphaxad. According to the Book of Jubilees, she is also considered the ancestor of the ancient Arameans, descendants of Aram and ancient Lydians in Anatolia. She was the mother of all the sons of Shem mentioned in the Bible, as well as Asher, the progenitor of the Assyrians. In Jubilees, the ancient Assyrians, who were also a Semitic people in antiquity, are descendants of this woman named Setequadalpap. Some sources claim that Setequadalpap was a descendant of Cain, a lineage of Cain, or even a combination of Seth and Cain's descent. Others claim she was a woman descended from Seth, but this is still debatable. According to the Book of Jubilees, the wife of Ham, Noah's youngest son, who was the father of the Hamite peoples known as Africans and South Indians, is named Niltamayuk. As a result, Niltamayuk was the mother of the African peoples, the Kushite peoples, and the descendants of Canaan, such as the ancient Canaanites. She was also the ancestor of the ancient Egyptians, who descended from Misraim, because Misraim, or Mizraim, was his son. She was also the mother of Cush, the ancestor of the ancient Ethiopians and Nubians, who still live in Africa in places like Sudan, Ethiopia, Somalia, and Eritrea. According to genealogies, the Dravidians, who are considered the original inhabitants of India, are also descended from Neil Tomiuk, who is the mother of both Africans and South Indians. Following in the footsteps of the Sibylline oracles, such as Sedequidalpap, Shem's wife, Niltomiuk, lived an exceptionally long life. These characters lived to be 600 or 700 years old as pre-flood women who lived to an advanced age. There is speculation that she outlived Ham. As she lived for centuries, she also made various prophecies to each succeeding generation descended from her and her husband Ham. 
There are ancient legends and Christian traditions about Ham's wife, such as that transmitted by Hippolytus, who died in 235 AD. According to this ancient tradition, Ham's wife is also known as Niltomiuk, as mentioned in the Book of Jubilees. According to a strange legend about Ham's wife, God told Noah to destroy the first person who announced the start of the flood. At the same time, Ham's wife was baking bread, and when water unexpectedly poured out of the oven, destroying the bread, she exclaimed that the flood had begun. God then abruptly reversed his earlier order that Noah not destroy his own daughter-in-law, who was to be saved from the flood. This story about Ham's wife is very similar to Abraham and Isaac's story when Abraham was about to offer Isaac as a sacrifice to God during the Holocaust. As a result, we can see the parallel between these two stories in which God tests the faith of his servants by involving a loved one. According to the Book of Jubilees, Japheth's wife, who is considered the ancestor of the Indo-European and Asian peoples, is known as Adatonesis or Adatanesh. Adatanis, like Noah's other daughters-in-law, Neiltomiuk is the wife of Ham and Satakwadalpap is the wife of Shem, lived an incredibly long life because she was born before the flood. People had a much longer life expectancy at the time than they did immediately after the flood. Although she survived the flood, she lived for centuries. Adatanesis, like the other daughters-in-law, was also a prophetess. According to the sibling oracles, all of Noah's daughters-in-law were prophetesses. While she was still alive, Adatanesis made several prophecies for each generation and people of her offspring who would come after her death. Ada then witnessed the growth and prosperity of many of the people who descended from her and her husband Japheth, in addition to subsequent prophecies to her own, due to the fact that she had lived hundreds and hundreds of years. Noel foresaw Japheth's seed multiplying and becoming numerous. China, with its enormous population, is a prime example of this. The Chinese are descended from Tagarma, who was the grandson of Japheth and the Atatanesis. Atitonesis was the mother of Japheth's sons, according to the Bible and the Book of Jubilees, including Gomer, his first son, Magog, Madai, Javan, Tubal, Mashek, and Tiras. They had many daughters in addition to these seven sons, as well as other sons who are not specifically mentioned in the genealogies, and several daughters who are not mentioned to avoid an exhaustive list. Elisa or Elixa, Tarshish, Kitim, and Dodanim are the grandchildren of Adatonesis and Japheth. In this way, the descendants of Adathanes and Japheth spread through their sons and daughters over the centuries, forming various peoples and nations. She is regarded as the ancestor of the Gomorites, also known as ancient Sumerians, who were Gomer's descendants. In early antiquity, the Gomorites were divided into three distinct groups, Tagarma descendants, Rifat descendants, and Ashkenaz descendants. Tagarma's descendants gave birth to far Asian peoples like the Chinese, Mongolians, Japanese, and Koreans. Rifat's descendants became the Celtic peoples, while Ashkenazic descendants became the Vikings, Germanic, and Slavic peoples. It is worth noting that there is a debate about the ancestry of Asian peoples such as Chinese, Japanese, and Koreans. Some argue that they are descended from Sin, one of Canaan's sons, while other traditions and interpretations suggest that they are descended from Tagarma, Japheth's grandson and Adatanesis' grandson. The ethnic origins of these peoples are still being researched and debated. We have a video that discusses the origins of Asian peoples, and we made it more visible. You can watch the video later by clicking the link in the description. In addition to these peoples, indigenous peoples and tribes of the Americas and other regions, as well as Russian natives, are descendants of Adatanesis and Japheth, as well as Tagarma. It is worth noting that several ancient traditions, including Christian, Jewish, Anglo-Saxon, Rabbinic, Islamic, and Irish, mention these three fascinating and mysterious biblical women in their traditions, recognizing them as humanity's matriarchs. In case you haven't heard, we have a series on our channel that explores the biblical origins of peoples, focusing on the descendants of Shem, Ham, and Japheth, as well as their wives. Leave your thoughts in the comments section about this video. We plan to create a series about each of Noah's daughters-in-law, focusing on their biblical origins.
If you're interested, please leave a comment. I'll see you soon.